A stay in Kununurra is never going to be complete without coming out and checking out Lake Argyle. Now, the best way to do that is with Lake Argyle Cruises. Greg's the head man here. Greg, what are we going to experience today on your cruise? A real variety of wildlife, the open um, expanse of Lake Argyle, and it is the largest man-made lake in Australia. And a big part of coming to Lake Argyle is just seeing the expanse of the lake. It, the most common comment you get from people on the cruise is, knew about Lake Argyle, but just didn't understand just how big it is. And, um, you know, we'll hopefully get up close to some crocodiles, the rock wallabies, and um, show you the archer fish and the rest of the fish and so forth. So just a, an overall rounded experience of Lake Argyle. So Greg, to put into perspective for everyone at home, the newest unit of measure in Australia is the Sydney Harbour when it comes to water. How many Sydney Harbours are we talking? We say 21 times the volume of Sydney Harbour and 19 times the surface area of Sydney Harbour. I reckon we should get down there, jump on one of your boats and check out this magnificent lake. Now, have you got a big boat for us to go on to? But uh, yep. both Jude and Scotty would like to go in a kayak if they can. Yeah, no, we can make them do that. That won't be a problem at all. <laughs> Is that the only wall for the dam? Just one damn wall. That's all I had to put in to create the whole area. Really? And it's really small, really cheap to, to build. Like in the late 1960s, $22 million, the whole cost of creating Lake Argon. So, um, you know, and you're going to see, we have an enormous patch of water. Just magnificent. Okay, these are short-eared rock wallabies that we have in this part of the Kimberley. They're the only rock wallaby in Australia whose ears are less than half the length of their head. So just this area here is known as Crocodile Bay. It is a popular nesting area for the freshwater crocodiles that we have here in the lake. And the reason they nest here is really just common sense. We're away from the big um, waves that we'll get in the lake and we'll get two metre waves in the wet season storms. So if they put their burrow in an open area, it can be in, inundated with water. Uh, whereas in a bay like this, you've got protection from the waves. You have Weed banks, by the time the baby crocodiles hatch out at the start of November, there'll be weed banks in all the little gullies here. There's enough loose soil to be able to dig a hole, bury an egg, and um, the weed banks have the insects and the algae for the crocodile babies to eat. So if you grab a little bit of bread, don't drop it in, just break a bit off, hold it out and you'll find there's seven spotted archer fish and they have evolved to hunt outside of the water. They've learned to look for an insect or a spider up in a tree. So how do they get in touch with you if they want to see what services you've got or make a booking? So it's lakeargylecruises.com and Lake Argyle Cruises on Facebook uh, or you can give us a call here at the office. After a day on the lake, Bruce and Scotty retired to the Ellenbray motorhome and I swooped in to get a closer look.